Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and this is Jen Restyle and Fashion. So on yesterday, you all watched me upcycle a denim tie from a pair of jeans. And if you notice in the video, I was wearing a denim skirt. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to create that denim skirt from one pair of jeans. Um, it's a quick and easy project, but what you do have to keep in mind is your measurements of your waist and your hip. So what works best uh, for this project would be a pair of jeans that one are oversized, um, either a straight leg, a skinny leg, probably will not work but a straight leg jean or a flare pair of jeans would work really nicely for this project so make sure you take your measurements measure the bottom part of uh, the hem of the jeans and make sure that that's going to go all the way around your waist and also make sure it's going to fit your hips but we'll go through the project let me know what you think if you've got any questions or you'd like to see me do something different let me know down in the comments all right you guys let's get into that up cycle Okay, we are starting off with a basic pair of jeans. As you can see, they're a little bit larger than my normal size. I would say probably about a 36 or a 37. And the first thing you're gonna do is cut up the side seam. You wanna separate that part. So I'm gonna cut the side seam on one side of the jeans and then the side seam on the other. I'm gonna go down uh, as far as I can um, like almost to the pocket because I want to make sure that I have enough fabric in there when it's time to flip it over and cut across and so the next thing of course I'm going to turn the jeans over and I want to make sure that I'm not cutting into the pocket or any part of the jean that I might want to use later and I'm just going to cut straight across from the side of the jeans all the way to the inseam and separate that out and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other leg and then I'm gonna put that other part of the jeans to the side because you know we're gonna use that later and now as I lay out what I've cut out you can see that it's already starting to look like a skirt kind of an a-line skirt so the hem of those jeans is going to be the waistband of the skirt and then the bottom is obviously the bottom of the skirt now you can decide if you want to hem the skirt if you want to make it shorter if you want to add something to it it's completely up to you but for me i decided that i wanted to keep the raw edge of the skirt because i like the frayed look so once i put it in the washing machine and wash it it's going to start to fray and that's the look that i was going for here so all i'm going to do now is just trim off the excess at the bottom and then we're going to go to the sewing machine and get started all right so hopefully you guys can see okay um so as you saw i uh, cut the pants down the side and i didn't um, remove any of the inside seams or anything like that i'm just leaving it as is and what i'm gonna do is add a zipper to one side um, the raw edge side i'm gonna stitch together right sides together and then press that seam open and on this side is gonna be a zipper uh, because i'm not putting a waistband on here i'm using the top of the jeans as the waistband i'm gonna put some darts in there press it open stitch it down it's gonna be very much a um like super super simple skirt like I don't think it gets any simpler than this all right so with the zipper um, you know the zipper is has a little extension beyond where the zipper ends so I want my zipper to stop right at the top I'm gonna fold this down and just sew it up under now um, usually like this is a this zipper is really stiff well, that's good that's good that that's a stiff, stiff zipper. I thought about stopping it here and putting a hook or something in there, but I don't think I really wanna do that. I think I wanna end it right there. Now, maybe I do something with my ties to cover the top part of the zipper. You know, I just had these little pieces left over. 
Maybe I could do that with a little tie. You see how the inspiration comes to me when I'm sitting at the machine? I don't always have a clear idea. When I get started, sometimes things just come to me as when I'm at the machine. So I'm pulling up these other little scraggly tie pieces that I had left over. I think I want to use one of these here. I think that the only thing is when I put something like this on here, that means that it needs to kind of match whatever I'm wearing, but I like it. And I actually like the idea of doing more of these down the side. What if I do ties all the way down and tie them? Would that be cute? Maybe that would be better on a straight skirt. Yeah, I think that would be better on a straight like pencil skirt, but not on this one. Okay, so we're gonna just leave this as is. We're not gonna make this anything extra. We'll do that in another video, all right? So here I am here. I do want you to be able to see the teeth of the zipper. So I'm gonna just pin zipper in place like that. Okay, fold that other side down, put this one over here and do the same thing and pin that in place. Okay, same thing here, just pin it in place. So again, I do want you to be able to see the zipper and a little bit of the back of the zipper. And this zipper is going to be really long. It's going to go all the way down. And then I'm going to leave the bottom part just open. In there, I'm going to take the zipper. I'm going to unzip the zipper. So we're only working with the zipper and the side of the jeans. All right, folding that under. Lift up my foot. And that stitch in there really good all right I am using the side of my foot Let's zoom in a little bit I'm using the side of my foot as my guide the side of the foot is on the side of the teeth of the zipper okay all the way down and I'm gonna just open this zipper all the way down I'm not opening it but I am taking it all the way to the bottom yeah all right, so again, I'm using the side of the zipper as the guide next to the teeth and the edge of the fabric. All the way down, all the way down. All right. Um, so I'm gonna leave the needle down lift up the foot and then I'm gonna zip the zipper back up okay get it out the way so that I can sew all the way past it coming down here and back up that's it cut that thread move that out of the way and now we have the one side oops for the one side done okay so all I'm gonna do is go on the opposite side I'm gonna stitch it down the same all the way down and then I'll be back um, we're gonna close up the other side where it has the raw edge and then we're gonna try it on and put some darts in it all right I have put right sides together I finished sewing the zipper in on the other side. Um, right sides together, and I am sewing down the other side. Uh, I'm sewing at a half an inch because that's the measurement that I have on my industrial machine that's visible to me, so um, I'm using that. I'm sewing at about a two and a half um, on my dial. Sew it 
right size together. Okay. All right. We are going to take this to the ironing board. I'm going to press the seams open. Uh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and do them. So I'm going to turn this over on the wrong side. I'm going to stitch it from the opposite side because the gold thread is actually in the bobbin and not in the top thread. So I want to make sure that gold thread is showing. So I'm going to lay the seam over to one side like that and make sure I'm spreading it out because I don't want any buckles underneath. I'm going to use the edge of the foot to stay, to use it as my guide and put it on the line that's already there. I'm gonna come forward, do a reinforcement stitch, and then I'm gonna sew all the way down. As I'm sewing, I'm spreading with my hands, making sure that this is all laid to one side, making sure the edge of the foot stays on that seam that's already in place. I'm spreading it, making sure it's flat, stitching. And as I go, uh, would it be easier if I had pressed it first? Of course. Of course it would be, but I didn't want to get up from the machine. <laughs> so I'm going all the way down. Very nice, clean finish. I love it. All right. So now I'm going to press everything down so that it's nice and flat. Um, we're going to try this skirt on. And we're just going to add darts in the front and back. Once I figure out how um, small it needs to be in the waist and how the darts need to be, we're going to slash the darts and open them up and press them. And then for the bottom, um, I really just want this to be like a frayed bottom. I, I don't want a like structured hem. I, I really don't want that. So, all right. So I did try the skirt on and I need like just not even an inch darts all the way around so I am going to evenly distribute the darts on each side and I'm gonna go from the center so that they don't look so crazy so um, we're gonna do there and I'm just gonna put a pin to mark the place where the dart is gonna be so that's one side and then in the back, I just determined that this was the back. I like having my zipper on the left side. And then I'm going to do the same thing here, finding the center, putting a pin in to mark. There we go. And then I'm simply going to turn this inside out. And fold it here. My dart in the back is going to be um, a little deeper than the one in the front because it has to compensate for the curve back there. So I'm going to come in about an inch and I have the measurements here on my base plate. So that's how I can determine. And then I'm going to start here right at the top. I'm going to do a little back stitch. I'm forward. I'm just going to reinforce that because we don't have a waistband, um, so we don't really have anything to really secure this. 
come back down and I'm going to slowly come out on an angle like that and I'm gonna back stitch here at the base okay and I'm gonna do that on all four I'll do it one more time for you and then the other two I'm gonna go off camera um, I'm gonna iron this down flat and in order to make sure that my darts are even I'm just gonna bring this other one over measure it and I'm gonna put a pin where it's supposed to end to make sure that they are even like that all right and then we come down and there we go all right now I'm gonna do my front darts which are not as wide at that was sewn on. Um, that's the back. See, it's got a little more curvature in the back. And then the front is going to be a lot less. And they're going to be a little shorter, too. Uh, because they're a little more narrow because it's important that the front lay flat. We don't have a curve as much in the front as we do in the back. So this one is going to come straight down like that so not as deep as the other was Oops. scissors didn't want to cut and same thing here all right you guys um, I think the only thing I want to do which I'm probably not gonna do because I haven't tried it on yet is to slash and open I think I'm just going to press it really good and then we'll slash it later um, oh my hands are ashy uh, because I'm just concerned that if it's not perfectly right if I slash it I'm out of luck so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna press these in to the middle I'm gonna press the rest of the skirt and next time you see me I'll be trying this really quick and easy skirt on all right let's go <laughs> 